So on a cold winter's morning in London, we got the train to Heathrow, where another adventure awaits. After a smooth check-in, a moment of silence for those who lost their lives during the war. We got on our plane to begin another adventure. So after flying, eating, flying some more, we landed late at night in Rhodes, Greece. Absolutely exhausted, but happy. We have arrived, We've got this nice little place. It's got a kitchen and everything. Tig's already just finished. So we'll see you tomorrow. So here we are in the heart of Rhodes, in the medieval part of the town. It's hard to explain how excited we felt as we drove deeper into the town itself. You definitely feel like you've taken a journey back in time. There's an atmosphere that surrounds you and so much history that's locked behind these walls. I really can't wait to explore with you guys. It's unlike anything I've experienced before. Now I arrived at our destination. We've got an espresso. I think it's a frappe cappuccino. It's technically off season, but my god, you wouldn't drink it with the weather. See, I'm a little bit overdressed, so I'm just going to enjoy my frappe and relax in the sunshine until we meet the lads later. We are in Rhodes. This is the old town, medieval part of the city. It's one of the oldest inhabited medieval towns in Europe. It is off season so it's a little more quiet but the weather is still really nice. If you don't like crowds this is definitely the time to come because it's a lot more empty. You can just really take in everything. It's so cool, this massive massive castle in the background there. That is so cool. It's such a unique experience walking through this sort of citadel. So this is one of the gates leaving. I think there's either eight or 10 gates, I can't remember exactly, around the city to enter in and around the old town. This is such a unique experience. This is the old citadel. It's like this kind of life's popped up around it. Now we're heading out. So I've got my bouncy walking. The is clear, the weather is beautiful. I mean, it's not as bustly, maybe, as in season, but do you know what? That suits me. I don't care. I like a bit of Chillville. And there's still lots of beach places open. The new town has still got a lot of things going on in it. The old town is a bit more quiet, which kind of is good because it means you're not like hassled as much. Look at that beautiful view across the water is Turkey. One of these days we have to get over there and see it for ourselves. Look at this, how beautiful is this? We're going to go into this little bar with Dan and Pete just across the road from this lovely view behind us. We got spandex and people. Hey. So he looks like he's just bomb yachting this weekend. <laughs> Yama. Oh, oh my god, look how pretty this is. There's a cat. There's a cat. These guys are getting us tipsy. Don't trust them at all. Oh, it's beautiful. 